so I am getting ready. Again, I look like a hot mess. But I am getting ready for packing and I thought I would just kind of take you guys along with me today. Just kind of let you know how my days go right before a trip. I know that for me, I like to make sure that my house is clean. And I always feel like I dirty it more before leaving for a trip. So it's like I have more cleaning to do than normal. I don't know. But I am, I, you can kind of see everything. Well, I guess you can see some stuff. But I um, definitely want to make sure that the house is picked up before we leave. Jordan and I are meeting Alicia um, for a church retreat. This is actually the really big one for the year because it's all of the chapters in like, I don't know, six or seven states that are meeting up. And... That means that Joe and Logan will be here by themselves. So that is like a whole other chore in itself, making sure that they have everything that they need, making sure that everything is coordinated as far as like, um, you know, making sure that Logan is taken care of while Joe's at work, things like that. So I've already gotten all of that handled, but today we are going to be doing some cleaning and then um, just pretty much packing. I haven't even packed yet. I feel like, like I said, like getting ready for a trip is more work than actually going on the trip. I don't know if you guys can relate. I shared on Instagram um, that I like to clean right before a trip and so many of you guys could relate. So I figured I would just take you guys along with me on some of my cleaning. Oh. I thought you'd always be mine oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep There's no passion in the comatose yeah. Baby going down, 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 down yeah. Baby going down, 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 down Okay, so I had gotten a grocery delivery, and so here I am just going ahead and cleaning off the counter. I did order enough groceries for Joe and Logan to be set. I typically will ask them what it is that they want, and I will place an order for that, um, and then just make sure that they have enough food uh, for the days that I am gone. Covered. Was gonna patch up all the scars, yeah. but we smashed up all the parts. Oh na na na. Always knew that you were stubborn, but didn't know it'd be so hard to figure out who you. So this is actually the spray paint that I use on my bench. I think about I've gotten so many questions about the color, um, but it is like a champagne gold from Rustolian. So luckily I didn't have to do any dishes. The girls did that for me. However, they left the sink completely filthy. So I don't know if you guys have kids that do dishes. If they just leave the sink filthy, that is definitely on our list to teach them how to clean out the sink after they do the dishes.
So as I was cleaning this tray, I decided instead of putting this same floral uh, vase and bouquet back, I decided I wanted to go ahead and change things out. You guys saw in my last video that I went ahead and changed out the floral arrangement in my bathroom and I decided that's exactly what I wanted to do here and just bring in some white and keep it fresh and clean. So you guys are gonna actually see me put together um, a little floral arrangement, all faux flowers um, from Hobby Lobby Hobby. and then we have a floral shop here local that has the most beautiful flowers so I basically just decided to change it up I definitely encourage when you need a new scenery in your home or just kind of want to liven up your decor just to change things up I love all of y'all's feedback when it comes to just tips and tricks that you guys use and so many of you guys recommended white vinegar, water, and essential oils to clean the microwave and I decided I wanted to go ahead and give this a try and I probably should have only used like a couple drops of essential oils but I definitely go crazy with that. But as you can see, my microwave is in dire need of cleaning. I actually had somebody tell me in one of my last videos, I think it was my nighttime cleaning, that I was cleaning a clean microwave and to be honest, Honest, I would honestly prefer my microwave to be cleaned because that means, or I guess I should say, I would prefer to be cleaning a somewhat cleaned microwave because then that means I'm doing my job and I'm keeping up with my microwave. But this is not the case today. You can see that it is in dire need of some cleaning. <laughs>
your car in the backseat Wide awake is the way that you left me, oh Now it's clear we are here back at your house And I keep fading into the background I'm wide awake, now you keep missing out for sure So everything is coming off so smooth like it is just literally taking me a wet washcloth and I'm just wiping everything off so I'm really impressed I think that I'm definitely going to use this that way I am not using any of the harmful chemicals in my microwave typically when I do clean the microwave with awesome which is a degreaser I like to go over it with a washed um, like a towel to just make sure that I'm getting all of the chemicals off but this one was very easy so this is definitely going to be my go-to and this is how I will be cleaning my microwave going forward. And the last thing that I'm doing is making my bed. Now, I did find this really pretty quilt at Walmart. It is a velvet material on one side and then kind of a metallic sheen on the other. It is reversible and it is just so beautiful. I will make sure to go ahead and link that, but I think that you guys would love it. I'm just obsessed with it right now. It just matches my bed so perfectly. And now it is time to pack. And if I can give you guys one tip, it would be to keep the wheels off the bed. The wheels are tracked through airports, through bathrooms, through streets. And I see so many people put their suitcases on the bed and I just feel like definitely don't do that. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. We are already packed and ready to go hit the road. It's definitely going to be a long trip, but I hope that you enjoyed this cleaning video and just a few things that I like to do before a big trip. And I would love to know what it is that you guys do before a trip. Typically, I feel like I do so much more, but because I did such a deep clean prior, I didn't have as much, thank goodness. But we are on the road and I hope that you guys enjoyed. Please just give this video a thumbs up if you like these type of videos. If you're new to my channel welcome i would love it if you hit that subscribe button and join our little youtube family and as always guys i love you and i will see you in the next one